Good morning, I'm Redwan here, and I'm showing this、um, demonstration as an addition to the previous、uh, movie YouTube that I've done about this、uh, budgeting system. And、uh, just to refresh, our budgeting system can、uh, do a revenue checkup over a number of years or number of months and over certain formulas, and it can do a month to month. Um, analysis like、um, what we have here. Let me show you. Yeah, like what I was just trying out. You can do a year on year for the last three years and、um, do a、um, over an average trend and for the month of October. So October 13, October 12, and October 11 is an average of 71.67. But I've added a new feature here, which is you can look up another more sophisticated calculation rather than the normal trade revenue, which is based on、uh, multiple lines that you can define with operators such as、um, multiply, plus, minus, and di、uh, divide. So, like here in this case, my first rule is to ask you to look at the trade revenue. And add further for the month of September 13th to 4th、um, October, which is the value of 170, adding to the earlier total, giving 2,150. And my second line was putting it up by 20%, giving 2,580. So it will be reflected、uh, under the year-on-year -year formula. But now I、uh, I'm going to go back fresh. I've reset it and.、Uh, If I were to call it again using this generation、uh, toggle, it's no longer year on year, and、uh, this、uh, October fourteen. Eight hundred sixty.、Uh, let's start afresh with nothing on. So you see that <clears throat> there's a three hundred forty-two average over the last three years for、um, land account. And if I do press this again, you can choose this as your budget amount. Okay, but with a lookup, which I was showing. It can now be a different figure. In this case, it's eight sixty、uh, because、um, let's see, let's see, let's see again. Let because I did not save it. Let's see what's the original figure so we can keep track.、Uh, it is one hundred sixty five originally, and when I put in for the formula, it becomes.、Uh, Oh, because there's a parameter here. Let me remove this. It's become eight sixty because adding one seventy. Blah blah blah. Losing track again. Let's see again. All right, I have a one nine eight zero revenue. And if I were to add to one seventy, it become two one five zero, adding twenty percent to five eight zero. So if I engage the formula, so I'm going to put in the formula, and there you are. It become eight sixty because we have a, a average which is divided by three two five eight zero divided by three should be eight sixty. So if I were to check this again, I can accept this as my.、Um, My new、uh, basis of uh, of uh, budget, right? Right.、Uh, I I could have one thing that I have three I have few choices here. I could go to the original three four two, the last average of the last three years I'm looking at. I can have it as a percentage, and I can compare. Right. So one more click is here. I have to leave it zero. Three hundred forty-two. Yeah, I can compare it this way. You 
can leave this blank, but you can still leave it on because but the system will give priority to check for a percentage. Okay, so this is one type of budgeting that I can take it from uh, the normal train and look up the revenue. Now with the formula again, you can have different set of figure. You can have it by uh, the actual amount or as a percentage, right? As a percentage. So this 39% uh, is the original land um, usage figure of 300 something over this new figure giving you this. So you have three kind of choices and most powerful is in here you can keep on adding more formulas. Right? Let's say on the plus, um, you can choose from any account, from any period, or under any project code, and um, or just a, a set amount. Let's say add another 50 to it. Okay, save it and toggle it further. You see a 50 will be added to it. So you want, right? and this is how it's arrived at. Ah, the fit is at, at the end. So that's it. Um, let me also show if you were to leave this blank in my other rules. Here is blank without the sales transaction check. It means it's a purchasing revenue. It's a purchasing um, a kind of uh, a budgeting. In this case, I have a purchase record. Let me show you from uh, the notice. All right. For notice, you see that I have a purchase done, uh, which is set to quantity. Here you are. Let me close this. You see that it's set to a quantity of five for the product whole, and it did record that that was the value of one or two, thirteen fifty times two twenty seven. So it's two date is two, right? So you you can basically it, it basically inter interrogate based on that right now let me look show you the sales um, which is more interesting now sales I've put a, a project as a criteria so um, it has a budget amount of uh, hmm, let me tweet back it was supposed to be there so don't touch this this will toggle for a lookup uh, just well, it was supposed to be a budget of a thousand and I make a purchase if I look into the ID uh, this purchase of forty dollar fifty cents is actually two product a whole at 1350 and a cedar at 27 so these two products purchase over this criteria of a project is captured in this uh, debug log for the budget okay but during interrogation, this is what is powerful about the lookup, is that I, I, you could interrogate to say that, um, okay, uh, let me look up cedar. How many cedars were actually? So you can click here, and you see that, hey, yep, your cedar, ah, the average trend was uh, set. That it, it gives an average over the three years. Uh, let me reflect, let me, let me change back this to cumulative so that you can see the actual figure and we do a reset from here all right so here you are it's the 27 which is um, the cost of the grass seed uh, if you were to have the whole 1350 so a whole was um, purchased at the sales order 1350 if you just select other criteria, it's nothing okay. because we did not have a combination of these criteria. So if you were to say that, hey, what was my sales with no criteria, nothing, right? Okay, but what are my sales under standard? Yeah, there was 1050. But all my sales not particular to a product, yeah, oops, yes, it is uh, 40, 50, all right? So again, you can do lookup. You you can do you can say okay, I'll make my sales uh, particular to uh, revenue, um, right? 
So other revenue is yes, nothing over the three years. Yes. Oh, other revenue is nothing. So four one zero 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 three revenue. Yes, there is. There is. So this is if you want to do a lookup and say that I'm going to use my revenue as my basis, uh, or I want to use it as a percentage. Yeah, so it's ten percent of, of that amount. And again, you can go and create more formulas here, right? More formulas to say, okay, I want it to be less of um, some other account, some other account. Let's say the land account, yes, because I have some details in the land account. Okay, I will just put in some periods. All right. All right, so let me get back here. Toggle again. You see that it affects the final figure. So this is um, um, uh, sticky. So I mean, don't don't touch this if you are not doing any planning for this. Probably you can create another window just without this button. This is more for the accountant planner to do the budget, right? Because this is working on your budget rules in on the same window. Okay, so that's it. This is just to show you the power of this new uh, tab and um, code that I've done, which in the, the lookup base, um, basically you will do a by reference uh, calculation and iterate through the set to, to give you uh, a more sophisticated basis of uh, budgeting, which I believe will really take care of uh, almost any need out there. All right, All right then. Bye-bye.